Hi everyone, this is Fiona with the couponboutique.com. <clears throat> Long time no see. Um, I wanted to do a video on saving on fresh produce. And so I know it's very difficult to find coupons in the newspaper, printable coupons for fresh vegetables. So I'm going to show you what I actually do to save um, as much as possible on fresh um, fruit and vegetables um, for my family. Um, one of the things I would give advice on is um, shopping in season. Knowing when um, certain fruits and vegetables are in season, um, I tend to shop a lot at the farmers market here in Raleigh and what I do is I buy my fruits and vegetables in bulk. There are some things that you can actually freeze and I like fresh vegetables for the holiday season so um, I'll show you an example I have right now that I tend to use throughout the year and it's just as good as if you got it from the grocery store that day. Um, I buy green, um, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers and so when I buy them in season and I buy them in the summertime um, I usually buy a few of them, I come home, I cut them up I clean the insides, make sure you get all the seeds out, and then I cut them in half and then I freeze them. So this is my bag of vegetables here. They're frozen as you can see. And there's several in one bag. So great way to save. So that way if you buy them in bulk, you put them in the refrigerator, you forget about them, they rot, you just wasted money. So that's a good way too. I also buy okra, lima beans. Field peas. I have some field peas here that I have purchased and they're blanched. You freeze them and you blanch them. And if you're not sure how to do that, it's really simple. When it comes to blanching your vegetables, and that's for fresh vegetables, when you get them from the farmer's market, that's okra, beans. Um, you don't blanch your, your, um, your green peppers or anything, um, but pretty much you're getting the water to the point where it's hot but not boiling, just hot. And then you let that, your vegetables just sit in the water for about 10 minutes. Then you rinse them in cold water and let them sit in a pot of cold water for about 15 minutes. And then you bag them up and you freeze them. So you probably wanna get them, put them in a strainer after the cool cooling process. Let them drain a little bit and then put them in the uh, Ziploc bag. Make sure there's no air whatsoever. If you have air inside those bags, you know, forget about it. Another thing too is watching sales ads. I have on my website um, a, a great tool for everyone I created. It's a stock up pile, uh, pile list and on there I give you the prices of what you need to actually is a good price for certain items and fruits and vegetables is definitely on there. Um, like last night I went to Food Lion and they had a great sale on tomatoes and everyone knows tomatoes are very expensive. So I got this here. I bought several of them, but this is a tomato right here. It was 99 cents a pound. Now I purchased two of these for 79 cents. I don't know too many places where you can find nice, beautiful, firm tomatoes for less than a dollar. I could have gotten three for 99 cents. Um, so keeping an eye on those sales. Another thing too, if you live in an area where you have a lot of international grocery stores, you can actually save pretty big there too. Um, a lot of the prices there are a lot cheaper than what you would find at your local grocery store. So you probably want to check those out. And I'm talking about international places, like it says international market, uh, any Hispanic um, um, grocery stores, and even any um, Asian uh, grocery stores. So I hope that helps everyone. Um, if you have any ideas that you'd like to share, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from everyone. Happy savings. I will see everyone soon and I'll be making my next tutorial for everyone. Thanks.